Myrene accepts Prospera's suggestion that she will become the next president of the Benerit Group, also threatened that she will take over her precious Quiet Zero. Prospera mentioned that her father will be pleased too. Then Myrene demands her to leave Celta alone. Prospera agreed to her, and she wants to allow Celta and Ariel to take part in one more duels. This will be the last. After that, Myrene can do with Celta as she like, although Prospera insists that Celta will not part with Ariel. Willingly, the next morning Celta was waiting for Myron at the door of her room. Myron asked her, were you waiting all this time? Celta said that she just got here. Then they walk. Celta was weird that the other day what she said to her. Myron said, if I asked you to get rid of Ariel, what you would do? Celta replied to her that she wouldn't do that because Ariel is family to her. Celta curious about Myrene's birthday. How would Myrene like to celebrate? Because Celta's my wish list includes celebration of a friend's birthday, she wants to give it a try. Myron tells her that she will think about it. Meanwhile, Shattuck proposes an alliance with Peel Technologies, offering full rights to Gundarm Inc. and Ariel in exchange for their support in the election. In the greenhouse, Elon approaches Celta and demands her to surrender Ariel to him. She can be him savior, and when she resists, then he try to force her. He revealed that the man she thinking of isn't here. Now. Hand over Ariel, and that time Gil intervenes and drives him away and said that what are you doing to her? Elon mocking him that it's none other than the runaway prince. Then he said don't go showing off just because there's a girl here and try to attack Gil. Then Gil stops the attack with a strong grip and knocks him to the ground and tells Elon if you screw this place up, no apology will get you off the hook. Then Elon run away from here. At that time Myrene saw from a distance. Then Celta thanked Gil and tells him that she heard he quit school. Gil tells her that Luda went behind Dad's back and held off my withdrawal, so I was able to re-enroll. Celta deeply sorry about his father. He tells her it's all right now. He have a purpose that he want to rebuild the Jeter company. It's only thing left that ties him to his father. He also decided that he take over as president. The company is on the brink. It's up to do something. He doesn't want to lose any more of the things precious to him. As soon as his re-enrollment is complete, he will return to the company. Before that, he wanted to visit the school one more time. He wanted to apologize to everyone in Jeddak House. Celta asks why would he tell this to someone like her. Then he tells move forward game two. He finally understands how frightening it is to move forward. It's because he was scared that he kept running away from his father. But now he can move forward. You taught me how. Celta blushed and said that she little glad because she loved those words. Two, then Gil tells that was the part of her he fell for. In this situation, Gil confessing his feelings to Celta that she is precious to him, but Celta rejects him and tells that she have someone precious to her now. Myrene heard them secretly from behind and she come front of them and she demands a duel between them. This victory will gift her birthday. Gil asked Myrene what's the big idea explain herself and he told her that he finished with dueling. Myrene have proposal for him that she going to run for president of the Benerit Group. She want him and Jeddak company to support her. She offers him that she'll become his fiance. If that happens, the group is sure fully support the Jeddak company. Myrene reveals the truth about Prospera to Gil and offers an alliance, promising to marry him and help House Jeddak recover as long as he wins the duel and takes Ariel from Celta in order to set her free from her mother's influence. In the battle room, there's Cecilia mocking to Gil that he haven't quit school after all and would he like to extend his record of losing like a dog. He reply her that the Jeddak emblem is the lion, so call him a lion, not a dog. Then Harrow asking Celta what is her stake in this duel Celta tell that will he help stop the harassment of Earth House. Ever since the open campus, everyone in the Earth House has been treated like a criminal. If the students from Jeddak House would take our side, Gail agree that. Then Harrow asking same thing to him. He said if he win, Ariel will be his. Celta tell him that what do he want with Ariel. Then Myrene said let him try. If Celta win it doesn't matter. You can do that right Celta. Celta said yes. Then the duel is approved. In their duel, despite shaken by his trauma involving his father's death, Gil manages to win once Myrene hacks into Ariel to make it stop functioning. After the battle, Myrene approaches Celta and takes away her holder title, claiming that she has no use for her anymore.